Hey guys, Nick here, and um, today I thought I would do something a little differently than what I normally do. Um, so after seeing Star Wars The Force Awakens about six times now, um, I thought I would bring up some of the questions that a lot of us fans have been asking since the movie came out. So I'm just going to get right into it. Um, so pretty much I'm going to be talking about the, the top five most answered or most asked questions since uh, The Force Awakens came out. So to get things off, number five, um, what happened to the Empire after Return of the Jedi? Um, that was one big question that I asked myself after seeing the movie a couple of times. Um, because they really don't explain what happened after the events of Return of the Jedi, the episode six. Um, because you know, at the end of the movie, you know, the Death Star is blown up, the Emperor's killed, um, most of the Empire, most of their, most of their, most of their officers are, are killed, um, and the universe is celebrating, and everything seems okay, but at the same time, it's just, like, where did the First Order come from? Like, who, yes, we see Su Supreme Leader Snow, like, where did he come from and all this? Like, how does, how did the First Order come to be? That's something that I think, I wish they ex explained a little more. I mean, yes, I mean, we still have a lot more Star Wars movies to go, they, they can explain it later. Or maybe they won't. Uh, maybe there's one of those things where they, just, they introduce the First Order, the First Order, and that's it. Um... But that's just me. That was just one of my big questions like, walking out of the movie. Is like, you know, where did the First Order come from? Yes, it rose from the ashes of the Empire, like the opening crawl says. But I just wanted to just, you know, get a little more info about what, you know, what happened in the 30-year gap between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. So, yeah, that was just one of my questions. Um, and my number four question is, how did Maz Kanata get Luke's uh, old lightsaber? Because... For, if, for any of you guys who've seen the original trilogy, when Luke has that lightsaber, the last time he uses it was in that fight against Darth Vader. And when he, when he was in uh, Cloud City, he was fighting Darth Vader when he gets his hand cut off and the lightsaber falls. How did Maz Kanata get her hands on it? I mean, yes, it's cool that you know she has it in the box and the, the you know, spoiler. I mean, if you guys are watching this, there, there are spoilers in this. So, you know, you, you're warned now. I mean, it's already a couple minutes in, but you, you're warned anyway. So when when Rey is called to the lightsaber, I mean, yeah, it's cool and everything, but at the same time, it's like, well, how did Maz Kanata get her hands on it when it just fell down a shaft? And, I mean, did someone give it to her? Did she find it herself? I mean, even in the movie, like, Han asks, where did you get that? And she's like, oh, it's a question for or a question to be answered for another time or something along those lines. And I feel like they tease these kind of questions a lot throughout the movie. So that was just... And, of course, the lightsaber comes into play a lot throughout the movie. So that was just one of those things where, like, I, I watched the movie, like, I want to know, like, where, like, how did she get it? Like, will we find out? Maybe. So I guess we'll see. And so number three I have down here is, um, who are the Knights of Ren? And it was subtly brought up in the movie. Um, for those of you who don't know, the Knights of Ren, of course, are, is the order that uh, Kylo Ren comes from. The, the order that, you know, they aren't quite the Sith. And they don't really, they don't explain at all who the Knights of Ren really are. It's just, like, that we, we know that Kylo Ren is a part of them. Um, he might be the leader, if I'm not, if, if I'm mistaken, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and that, and that uh, Snoke references them, um, saying that him and the Knights of Ren had not faced such a test when dealing with Rey and her, her Force powers awakening. Um, so yeah, I, th I feel like we didn't get enough clarification about who they were. And from what we got, from what I got the idea of, like before the movie came out, like the producers and J.J. Abrams and stuff, they were talking about kind of who the Knights of Ren are, and basically they're like they're looking for Darth Vader relics. They're you know Vader worshippers, from what I remember essentially. But I feel like, like as a movie going fan, like like putting that aside, I feel like that's something that could have been explained a little more to give a little. I mean, yes, when we see Kylo Ren and we find out like, he's the son of Han Solo and Leia. Um, and he's, he's very clearly trying to live up to the Darth Vader legacy. Um, we, we do, we do see that, but it would be, I, I thought it would have been nicer to see, you know, like him and the Knights of Ren where they came from. Cause we've seen the flashback sequence of them slaughtering what, what at least what we think is like the Jedi or like the, the new generation of Jedi. And we see him and all the Knights of Ren, like, who are they? Like how many of them are there? Is it like, like the new Sith? Like we don't know. We, we didn't really get any information on them really. I mean, yes, it's, again, it's the first of the new trilogy, so these are all questions that are going to be asked later in the line. All right, number two, this is honest, this is really probably one of the bigger questions that fans have um, since the movie came out, and even before the movie came out. Everyone's been back and forth on this for a long time, and so yeah, number two 
is Screen Leader Snoke, Darth Plagueis. And for those of you who don't know, Darth Plagueis is the Jedi, or the, the Sith Lord that was uh, the Emperor or Darth Sidious' master. And in Episode 3 of Revenge, uh, in, uh, Revenge of the Sith, uh, Palpatine has a conversation with Anakin about Darth Plagueis the Wise. And that how he became so powerful in the Force and in the dark side, he, he was able to create life and cheat death. And Palpatine mentions that his uh, apprentice, who he's implying is himself, he killed him in his sleep. But yet, yeah, for being a um, j- um, master of cheating death, more than likely he's not really dead. So in the movie, when we when we see Snoke, I mean, in, in expanded universe stuff, um, Darth Plagueis was, was this race of people, race of aliens called um, Nune. Um, in the movie, very clearly, uh, Snoke is not that race. They look completely different. Snoke looks like he's human. Um, he just has a lot of scarring on his face, and they can he there's still a high ch- there's a high probability probability he could still be Plagueis, but watching the movie and when we first see him in that when he's sitting in that when he looks like a giant and he's like sitting in that big chair like kind of echoing back to um empire strikes back when we first see like that the hologram of the emperor um again they say he's supreme leader smoking if you listen to the the force awakens soundtrack or even in the movie like his bat the background music you know like the snoke track um it, it's very 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 similar to the to the uh darth plagueis track that was playing in revenge of the sith when palpatine was telling the story of darth plagueis so there was that little comparison there um and where did snoke come from i mean really i mean yes han and leia are aware of him they they know that they, he turned their he was the one who turned their son to the dark side of the force but i feel like there's got to be more to snoke and plus with the Force users being who they are and Star Wars being the characters that they are, there's always misdirection when it comes to these kinds of things. Like, Snoke, more... I ha- I have a pretty good idea that he is Plagueis. Uh, I could be wrong. There's a lot of reasons he, c- he could not be Plagueis. But more than likely, I think he is going to be because I feel like it's... A, like, yes, they want to create their own characters, but I feel like it would kind of bring the like the everything kind of full circle in that aspect of bringing in, you know, Palpatine's master in and him coming back. He was watching things from from the sidelines, seeing Darth Vader and his, and him and the Emperor and him being behind the scenes of everything, just watching everyone. Because he's a very, Snoke is a very old dude, so we, we know for a fact he's been around for a long time. He saw all the events, all these events happen. But, again, we don't know who he is. We don't know really what he is and what role he's going to play moving forward. But all we know, he's going he's gonna to be you know, bringing Kylo Ren in for training. Maybe he will, Kylo Ren will actually become a Sith Lord. So I guess we'll see what happens. And here we go. Number one, my probably the biggest question most fans have had walking out of the theater is, who is Rey? Is she related to anyone? Um, the biggest theory out there is that she's the daughter of Luke Skywalker. And I buy into that heavily. The Star Wars movies have always been the Skywalker story. And the parallels between Rey and the Force Awakens and Luke in A New Hope, they parallel each other so much, I feel like it'd be a really missed opportunity if they didn't have Rey as Luke's daughter. And yes, fans can say, oh, but she just has an English accent. Where does that come from? Like, all these things. And when she meets Luke in the end, like, he doesn't say anything. All he does is look at the lightsaber. Like, yes, they share a moment, but it's like... But throughout the movie, there's so many parallels to Luke and the fact in the fact that she's so strong in the Force and the Skywalkers themselves are so strong in the Force. You know, seeing Kylo Ren and how strong he is, excuse me, and seeing how strong Luke is and how strong Vader was, and all these things, and the fact that like the the the, the, the awakening of the Force is right herself. She has, to, in my opinion, she has to be Luke's daughter or at least a Skywalker, because I feel like she can't really be Leia's daughter. I mean, yes, they they, they shared a moment with uh, towards the end. But I feel like if Rey was her daughter, Leia would have said something about it. And Han would have said something about it. Because they make no reference to any of the children except Kylo Ren or Ben. And at the end, when, when or in the middle of the movie when she, when she touches the lightsaber and drawn to the lightsaber, why else would she be drawn to the lightsaber if she, if she wasn't a Skywalker? You know, like at least in my mind, like that's how I saw it. And when Mosca and I was talking about like the people, the, the, whoever dropped her off on Jakku, they're like... You know, whoever she's waiting for, they aren't coming back. Yes, people have said like that's the indication of like, well, it, why would she go back? To, why would she? Why would Maz Kanata say 
you know, whoever you're waiting for in Jakku, they aren't coming back, but you're going to be drawn to Luke if Luke was the one who dropped her off. That's a valid argument right there, but I think because of what she says, like, she's being drawn to Luke. In my opinion, it's just, it's just the force is guiding her to her father for training. And yes, there's a, there's a good chance she might not be, you know, Luke's daughter. She could be a brand new character all in herself. But I think it's a really missed opportunity if she is not Luke's daughter. Because, again, the Star Wars story has always been about the Skywalkers. Um, you know, excluding, you know, the upcoming anthology movies. But, yet, again, just, that's the biggest question, at least in my mind, that I came out of watching The Force, the Force, the Force Awakens six times. So, yeah, those are just my five questions coming out of the movie. What do you guys think? Do you guys have any other big questions coming out of the movie? Do you guys have some other theories about what's going on? Do you, who do you guys think Snoke is? Who do you think Rey is? You know, let me know. Keep the, keep the conversation going because, you know, I'm going to be seeing this movie a lot more. I want to talk about I want to talk about it with you guys. I want to be, you know, just being the one, you know, just, just talking to a computer screen all the, all the time. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for me. So if you guys want to you know, watch my stuff and give me a like and comment below, keep the conversation going. I'm going to hit subscribe below. I upload new content every week. So, you know, there's no shortage of me nerding out about this kind of stuff. So that's going to be it for me, guys. So until next time, have a good one.